Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Glad you're here. Today is a good day, I think. In my opinion, I think it's a good day. And again, it's my opinion, so I mean, whatever. <laughs> which we'll get to that later. Um, one of the things that's happened today, which is really big news, huge news for, you know, a lot of reasons. And that is Elon Musk finally purchased Twitter. I believe it was $44 billion dollars. Uh, or close to it, which this has been in the works for a couple weeks, maybe three weeks. And uh, there's some, been some snags with the board and this, this poison pill. And today they said, okay, we will take that money in cash. And that happened. Elon Musk now owns Twitter, which is now going to be a private company. What does that mean, though? What does that mean? Uh, if you notice on Twitter, a lot of the blue check marks, and if you're on Facebook and you know other things, well, that's highly you know left leaning. They think this is a terrible thing. This is the worst thing that could possibly happen. Saying you know it's the end of the world because Twitter's going to have free speech. No, I mean it's not going to be the end of the world, but hopefully Elon makes it more friendlier for free speech. And not just balanced to one side, which is predominantly the left side. And that's true. That's true. It's predominantly left. Uh, a lot of your blue check marks, um, you, know, I, you know, that's what we call them. We call them blue check marks. Um, they're not taking it too well. Uh, comparing things to like Hitler and just, they're going to leave Twitter. These are the same people in 2016, that said they were going to move out of the country if Donald Trump was elected president. Guess what? It didn't happen. You have these people saying, hey, I'm going to leave Twitter because Elon Musk bought Twitter. These people are not going to leave Twitter. This is their livelihood. Let's get this, let's get this out. A lot of these blue check marks, this is what they live for. This is what they live for. They want to stay on this platform. They're not going to leave the platform. They're not going to like it when, say, they bring back the Babylon Bee, Alex Jones, Donald Trump, making a, a more balanced free speech, uh, you know, place. And that's basically what Elon Musk is wanting to do. And a lot of people were saying, oh, he's an evil billionaire, but it's all for white supremacy, anti-climate change, when the fact is Elon Musk is probably... One of the biggest proponents, one of the biggest people for climate change, since he has a company solely based on creating and fixing up um, electric vehicles. That's his. That's one of his companies. And people were saying, "Oh, he's against climate change." I've never heard him say that. If anything, he's probably a climate change hero, which has been interesting. This has been really interesting. Um, how I see it, yeah, billionaires suck, but we need them. Let's say, let's just say we need it. We need the people that runs the companies that gives us our jobs. See a lot of people on the left bitching because Ron DeSantis put uh, took away Disney's right to govern and the tax stuff. And they're all freaking out because, oh, Disney has to pay a lot of taxes now. And uh, they're, they're, Ron DeSantis is Satan. He's Hitler. He's white supremacy. He is a terrorist. For a billion dollar company, maybe trillion. They own Marvel, you know, Disney's everything, Star Wars. And, you know, a lot of people on the left is supposedly anti um capitalism and are all for uh, communism and socialism, but they get pissed off whenever one of their so-called virtue signaling companies decides to play fiddle to the left and get pop, play stupid games, get stupid prizes, go woke, go broke. I guess I would be considered a woke bro. Is that right? Go get woke, go broke. Is that how it goes? Is that how it goes? But a lot of people that I've seen, especially on Facebook, um, was saying, well, we hate billionaires. Billionaires should not be able to govern free speech. How Twitter is, and a lot of social media, 
a lot of the media is, most opinions, most of the balance goes to the left. See, this is the thing. The left doesn't want there to be free speech. They want it to have its basically abolished. They say they're for free speech, but it's only if it's in their beliefs or whatever, you know, whatever's the new flavor of the week, uh, whatever they're for. I'm for the thing, whatever the newest thing is. But once it gets to the point when they are challenged, they usually try, they back off a little bit. And some of them double down. Some of them are morons. A lot of them are morons, actually. And I just don't understand what the big deal is. You know, as somebody that lives in the United States, I'm for freedom of speech. I like that. I don't care. I think you should have the right to say whatever you want. Yeah, you can say whatever you want. Doesn't mean people has to agree with it. But the left thinks the only people that can say things are the people on the left. They can say these outrageous things and get away with it. But as soon as somebody on the right, you know, challenges their ideas, they get canceled, banned, uh, threatened, doxxed, you name it. So I kind of hope this fixes that. I don't think it's going to entirely fix it, but I think it's going to be interesting. I, I think it's going to be interesting to see what Elon Musk does to this. And, you know, you can say that I'm far right. I'm not. I'm right in the middle. Right in the middle. I, I don't care either way. I don't really use Twitter to begin with. Like, I barely use it. And I've had a Twitter account for years. I don't live on Twitter. I'm not a blue check mark. I don't have a million followers. I don't. I just think it's interesting. I think it's funny, actually. I think it's really funny. You know, just see these people freaking out over something, you know, that matters a lot. You can say what you want about social media, but social media, you know, that's the whole world, basically. You know, the whole world participates in social media. It's a forum, basically, for free speech. You know, unless you're, you know, living in a communistic society or, you know, Russia, China, you name it, Venezuela, where you don't think free speech should be there. They want it, They want censorship really badly. They don't want their ideas challenged. And this is what is going on. This is why the left is freaking out over this is because. Their ideas are going to get challenged by somebody that doesn't really care. I mean, for all the intents and purposes, Elon Musk knows what he's doing. He's he's a great troll. He knows this. He's a meme lord. Just look what he did with Bill Gates with the uh, pregnant man emoji, which was pretty funny. Good taste. Good taste. Don't do that, you white supremacist. You are a Nazi. Again, I, I like how the left throws words like Nazi and, you know, white supremacy around. Like, you guys don't know what the fuck that is, honestly. I, I don't think you picked up a uh, history book ever. Or maybe, maybe you just not paid attention for, like, through your schooling. You know, Nazis are pretty bad. White supremacists are pretty bad. I'm not saying they don't exist now because they do. But, you know, we still have BLM, Antifa, but, you know, you got people on the right, pretty bad. I think they should all be gone. Honestly, I think it should, they should all be gone. I think peace is great. I love peace. I don't want to fight with you. I don't. I'm, I don't care. I don't want to be violent. I might call you out on your bullshit, but I'm not going to be violent. That reminds me. That reminds me. I'm going to be working on a new video. I was watching a new channel. I believe they're called Mass Hole. Um, you guys check them out. They kind of do something similar to what I was doing with the Chili de Castro stuff, which we're going to make a video. I'm going to contact Mass Hole to see if I'm able to kind of take a look at their content and use some of their content within this video. Uh, it's it's about our good friend Chili. He's he's. He's a piece of shit, in my opinion.
No, he really is. He's a fucking piece of shit. Piece of shit. And we spell shit S-H-I-T, but we also spell as Chili? I don't know how you're going to spell your name. Like, I don't care. Chili? Is it C-H-I-L-L-I? Is that how you pronounce your name? Is that how you spell your name? I don't care. But you are a piece of shit. I just want you to know that. My opinion, by the way. It's my opinion. I don't know if you're a real piece of shit. You could you could be. You could actually be a huge piece of shit. But anyways, we're going to be working on a video. Uh, probably have it within the next couple of weeks. It's going to be spicy. It's probably going to be one of the biggest videos I've ever done on this channel. And I'm actually excited because Mass Hole... Whew, they're great. Check them out. Uh, I just subscribed to them this morning, actually, after listening to her latest uh, stream about chili. It's, it was definitely spicy. And you guys will get to see firsthand, well, actually, you get to hear how crazy this motherfucker is. You guys, until then, I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Oh, yeah, finger guns. We got to keep on doing the finger guns, man. That's how you know. I mean things, you know, that's how you know, this is how you know, finger guns.